Hi, in this video I would like to explain the basic structure of a trachea, which is one of a few slides in the respiratory system that you need to know for a histology exam. As you can see, this is a cross-section of a small trachea. We can distinguish some basic layers. There is a mucosa close to the lumen with submucosa underneath. And then the outermost layer is adventitia. Mucosa consists of epithelium and lamina propria. Trachea is lined with a typical airway epithelium, which is pseudostratified columnar epithelium with cilia. We can also find many goblet cells here. Lamina propria is made up of loose connective tissue and contains many migratory cells, small vessels and ducts of seromucous glands producing watery mucus. Secretory portions of these glands are in the submucosa, together with loose connective tissue, large vessels and C-shaped rings of hyaline cartilage. This is not a precise cross-section, because we see hyaline cartilage as if it were cut in pieces, instead of a nice C-shaped structure. It's given by the plane of the section. As we can see cartilages from different levels with submucosal loose connective tissue in between. Open ends of the cartilage are on the posterior surface, facing the esophagus. There is a membranous part between these open ends. And it's simply the widest area of submucosa without cartilage. It's bridged by bundles of smooth muscle, called the trachealis muscle. There is also a sheet of fiber elastic tissue attached to the perichondrium of a cartilage, but we cannot see that very clearly here. There are many seromucous glands in this area. Adventitia comprises loose connective tissue, which is continuous with connective tissue in mediastinum. That's it for today, Pauls. The basic structure of trachea is very simple, so do not be afraid if you gotta describe it at the exam. Thanks for watching, share this channel with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more histology videos.